Um, I don't want to settle for just any old belt grip here, right? So when I grab the belt, I'm going to turn you around so you guys can see what this hand is doing. I'm trying to get as far around Jacob's back as I can to the belt. So that's one. When I do that, I, I shorten my elbow. And that keeps him turned away from me. So my shoulder right now is kind of in his armpit, rib area, and my elbow is really short. So if he tries to turn to face me, even with one arm, see how I can prevent him? And my other hand's on the sleeve. So that's kind of the way I want to grip. If I can't get the belt, then I go a little bit higher and I grab kind of the material under his armpit like that, and same effect. I shorten my elbow, keeping the shoulder facing away. And that's what makes the hip throw so easy. This his body is already lined up and facing in the direction that I need to step in front. What I don't want is for him to square up with me like this. Like, put your head on my shoulder like this. I don't want this position. I want to keep him turned away. So, here, square up again. Very difficult. You see that? So I have a ton of control over his posture. So that's deep as I can on the belt, ideally, or if the belt's off or something, go a little higher under the armpit and then shrink your elbow. Shorten the elbow. Cool? Let's try. One, two, three, go. That's super controlled. I know, it's great. Yeah, it felt like every time I tried to even turn into you, like, yeah. it felt like you just took a step. Mm -hmm. Maybe so, it's over, like, you know, over here. Yeah. I mean, you're not over. I feel you the same kind of, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. 